I might want to go deep on this. I mean, up until five minutes ago, I thought a rig rundown was I'm just going to run up here and I'm going to talk about people's equipment, stuff I don't like on the stage, I don't like to hear. Um, sometimes uh, somebody brings a new piece of equipment on stage and I think it sucks and it, it's something that they like to play jazz with or whatever and they're trying to force feed, excuse us, trying to force feed us uh, in, our, in our bands a new jazz look that they learn, we're trying to impress people with. But it's not about that. It's about the equipment that I use on the road and in the studio. Um, some of this equipment is um, even lifted by me. Picked up, broken down, put in a case, sometimes brought out of a case by me, sometimes. Um, let's start with the, uh, the drum set. It's a Ludwig. Uh, legacy it's lacquer I don't know what I don't know what this finish it is let's call it tobacco I don't know what it is it's a fade it's beautiful it's, it's like a shark's belly actually um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah I think it's a seven ply maple that does make a difference to some people wood so expensive now so this thing's worth a lot of money I'd like to just uh, offer it up for sale. Um, anybody that wants to pay a million dollars for this, I'll take it right now. But I do get endorsed by Ludwig and they treat me pretty well. Um, they make these to order, so it takes a little bit of time, but it, it was worth the wait. I'm going with a nine by 13 here. Oh, Eight by 12. Scratch that. Eight by twelve. Hey man, I'm the rig rundown. <laughs> twelve inch standard depth toms. That's what I like. They sing a little bit better. I'm using Ambassador Coateds on these. Remo does not give me drum heads, but I would love some. An Ambassador on Tom. Use the Emperor on here because uh, well, I got an Ambassador today, but usually like an uh, Emperor on here to. A little bit keep it a little bit more dead and trying to emperor coat it on this snare I go back and forth from ambassador to emperor just depending on how rich I am that week um, ambassadors last you know they last a little bit less time but um this bad boy copper brass I don't know it's beautiful it sounds great too um, 24 by 14 I've got a 14 by 14 floor tom. Um, I like that. Sings a little bit more like the tom. And um, I'm using the uh, Ludwig Atlas hardware. They've been working on these uh, this hardware for a long time, and and I think they got it by George. I do. I think they finally got it. These pieces of hardware support some Sabian cymbals. I like the groove hats and the groove ride. If, if someone was to say, Brit, play Night Train, I could play that with that ride. But then if they wanted me to do some Almond Brothers, some more of a swishy vibe, there you have it. I could do both with this one symbol. I wouldn't have to change symbols throughout the set, <clears throat> which nobody does. Right, Brandon? <sighs> Damn. You need some more Afrin? He's got a problem with that. I don't know if it's family knows that uses saffron regular all right um, the AA explosion fast crash 18 inch it's a good one too AA explosion fast crash 19 inch I'm going an inch bigger on this one now I'm only allowed to have they, they won't allow me to go bigger so I'm, I'm, I'm working with a 16 or a 17 right here <clears throat> I like that symbol. I think our sound man likes it because it shuts up quick. But uh, these bad boys right here made by D-Drum are just basically opening and closing a gate. So these mics aren't on picking up symbols when they don't need to be. It's really all for him. But uh, that works. And that's what he likes. Yeah, so Sabian also owns Gone Bops. So I shoehorned my way into a deal with them. I do appreciate that. Uh, these these bongos 
and I use them on two songs and feature them. And then, you know, that'll lead you on over into Preston's world in a minute, which is also gone bop. It's gone bop heavy, if you will. But yeah, man, I mean, other than that, I've got some Vic Firth 5B American Classic Brit Turner Blackberry Smoke Signature Sticks. I was told that I couldn't sell these online by Vic Firth. That's fine. Um, I do play them. I actually do sell them. Who's gonna Who's gonna do anything about it? Come get me. But we need to get to the next town. We need gas money. So until they start paying me to play these sticks, then I don't think I, I, I need to live by their rules entirely. Oh man, which brings me to this throne. This thing is so heavy. Oh my god. Porter and Davies. This, this thing, like when I kick my kick drum, it'll thump my butt. I can put guitar in there, basically whatever I want in my butt. Um, I uh, get the monitor guy to put in there. And, and it's, you know, when you use in-ears, um, kind of get that, lose that room feeling or the vibe. So, you know, this is important. This is a great product. Um, I love it. They are heavy to pick up if you're lazy. Um, you don't want to get in this business, that's your job, to pick this thing up because it's very heavy. It might need a backrest. Work that in if they want my advice. But I appreciate the deal they give me. Appreciate the deal that uh, Vic Firth gives me. Ludwig, Sabian especially, has just been great. Um, <clears throat> another part of my uh, equipment is Ultimate Ears. These are like the super bass response ones. Um, these have been great. I wish I would have uh, could, could have uh, got them before I went deaf, but um, here we are, and uh, keeps me from going more deaf. And I can hear things that I want to hear, and uh, and it's more consistent every night, and that's important. That's basically it. That's what I got going on back here. Microphones, I couldn't tell you though. That's somebody else's business, but um, thank you. I appreciate it. Over.